Alright, this is a review for Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma, and I gave this book a 4 out of 5. It was really good. It was a little bit, it's a little bit strange, and I'll get to that in a little bit, but, so, um, this book is about, basically, two sisters, Chloe and her older sister, Ruby, and Ruby is very, very has a big influence on Chloe and they're really really close and um they kind of never fight that kind of thing they're just it's really unplacid and serene and everything but one summer when Chloe is swimming in a reservoir she comes across a dead body and it is a girl from her class named London so this kind of causes her to become very stressed and traumatized so she goes to live with her dad um, for about two years and um, just so you know that Ruby and Chloe don't have the same father so she's away for two years and then Ruby just comes randomly and says she wants to bring her back to their town and everything and then um, um, so, she doesn't, she doesn't really want to come back because she wants things to be the way they used to be before the summer of what happened with London. So, um, yeah, I don't want to get too much involved because then I'm going to give something away that, yeah, but anyway. So that's kind of like a generalized um, talking about it, but it does have some creepy qualities to it, um, as you can tell by the cover. Sorry for the glare. The cover, um, but it's very creepy and it's very interesting. You will probably be a little bit like, what? Like a little bit confused and not sure this is 100% what is even happening, but. Um, it's worth the read. Um, it's really good despite that. I wish there was kind of some more information about certain things. But um, overall, it was really good. It kept my interest. It was very, like, I don't know. It kind of just, just, just not weird. I don't want to say weird. That sounds bad. But it's very, um, very interesting. Very interesting read. Um, some twists and things. And I love the tagline. Secrets never stay below the surface. So I really, really like this. Um, I had checked it out from the library because I had heard some really good things about it and it's fairly new. Um, so yeah, that is my review for Imaginary Girls. If you're looking for like a book that's kind of creepy and um, kind of gets you to think, kind of thinking and kind of those aspects then I would definitely get this um I looked on YouTube and there's not that many reviews on there I think oh geez I almost or um I only found one so which is kind of a kind of a surprise because it's a very decent book so that is my review for Imaginary Girls and I'll show you too what I got from the library um I just got two books not enough to make anything but I'll just show you really quick I got um become uh, uh, becoming Chloe by Katherine Ryan Hyde as you know I've read other books by her and the one I read recently jumpstart the world was phenomenal so I decided to get this one too it is about let me see if it has a better summary in the back yeah I'll read you the little summary in here a gay teenage boy and a fragile teenage girl meet while living on the streets of New York City and eventually decide to take a road trip across America to discover, to discover whether or not the world is a beautiful place. So that sounds very interesting. And it's pretty small. Look, small. Small. So yeah, and then I'm really excited about this one. Um, Want to Go Private by Sarah something Littman. Um, I've heard of this book and I was really excited to see it. This is about a girl named Abby who meets this guy named Luke online and she knows she really shouldn't be talking to people on the guys online and you never know um, who's who and that kind of thing so it's just kind of that circumstances and when Abby goes missing it is up to um, 
for family and friends to figure out what happened. So, um, I really, really like this cover. As simplistic as it is, it's really cool. Want to know me, want to see me, want to call me, want to trust me, want to love me, want to meet me, want to go private. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to read this. I cannot wait. Um, it looks, sounds like it's going to be a really good book. So those are just the two little books that I got. So, not little books, you know what I meant. So yeah, I would definitely check out Imaginary Girls. And if you've read this, um, then let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.